Hey guys, I can't stop you. And today I'm giving you guys a review on the P90 TRSE. Well, this gun, when you get straight into the stats, the damage is 36, portability 73, rate of fire 86, accuracy 67, and the recoil of 72. The ammo capacity is 50 over 100. The features are you get you get a pre-attached silencer, and also you get and yeah. The, you can put a scope on this gun, that's about it, so yeah. Um, how you can get this gun, you can get this gun out of a Miss Eco for 2000NX, or a Miss Papa for 2000NX. This gun is actually an NX ray gun. I'm gonna compare this gun to the P90TR. Well actually, the P90TRSE is everything the exact same, but the difference are, is that the P90TRSE is got one more damage and the ammo capacity on the P90R is 50 over 50 and also this the P90R you can buy an X one day 700 X 7 days 2.9 thousand an X 30 days 4.9 thousand an X 90 days 8900 X and permanent well you can only get common arms NA from sales for 24,900 X now I'm gonna get in talking about this gun what I like about it and what I dislike about it Okay, well the P90 TRSE is actually a headshot machine, as you can see right there. Every, I reckon every three or four kills, if you just stand there and spray with it, you'll most likely get a headshot. Um, yeah, so it's, it's it's like a OP gun, as I call it. So yeah, if you can't afford this gun, I'd recommend going out buying either if you if you can't afford an X, go buying. I wouldn't recommend buying the P90 just the P90 with the little scope and all that shit because it is not a good gun but I'd recommend going out and buying the P90TR if you can afford an X because it is worth it and you would not regret buying this gun so yeah so if you if you're an attacker player I would recommend using this gun but if you're a defensive player too I'd recommend using this gun because this gun you can play attackively and defensively so it is like probably one of the best guns in the game I reckon so yeah, but at the moment I just got a, well you can run around with this gun and shitload, yeah, it's got a nice portability, it's got a great rate of fire for a, and yeah, if you guys like didn't know about this gun or anything and you just picked it off after killing someone, I would like, you'd think it's an AR, yeah you'd think it's an assault rifle, like you just pick this up off the street and you run around and it just, it doesn't, it shoots more like, it shoots like an SMG, but the way it kills, it just, it just got so, it's the way you use it, I reckon, it's just so good. Like, this is actually probably one of the best guns in the game. I'd recommend, it's actually probably the best gun in the game. Apart from, like, the Legion, or the Dual, Dual Scorpions, or, like, or them OP shit motherfucking guns. So, yeah. How, how like, how would you, like, if you go into a game with some people, how would you use this gun? Like, if you go into a clam or anything, I wouldn't. You'd you play defensively in clam wars, or if you're in like an elimination oil game, or an elimination grave digger game, or something like that, you would you'd probably play defensively. But sometimes you can come out attackably. It just depends, yeah. Um, how would how would I recommend using this gun with like what type of guns would I recommend using it with? I recommend using it with a sniper, duh, a sniper. And at the moment, I'm using it with a shotgun, but at the, you can always use it with like a, um, you can always bring, say, an extra nades or you, the gun. You don't really need another gun with it. All you need is a sniper if you're going long range distance. So yeah, so this gun is probably actually a really good gun. I'll um, I can't. I don't know what to talk about it, guys. It's just. It's just that good, like, I've got no dislikes about it, um, it's got a nice camo, as you can see, it's a blue tiger camo, so it's a, so, like, if you had the tiger strider, it looked pretty cool with that, so, yeah, um, so, if you guys like watching my reviews or anything, I c I'm bringing out a new one, I'll bring out more, but, if you guys, I, I got, I don't know what guns you guys want me to review, I've got plenty of, I've got a couple of NX res, that I can activate or I can get or I can use. Oh yeah. Um so yeah. If you guys 
if you guys want me to do assault rifles, or I can do sniper rifles, or I can do, um, piss I can do any type of reviews, you just gotta ask me and I'll bring it out. Right there was a bit of a bullshit, I should've got that multi-kill. So, yeah. What? Say it! Um, yeah, so, as you can see at the moment, I'm, I'm running around in oil rig, 100, 100 kills, or 140, uh, um, I believe it is actually 100 kills. So yeah, um, like I'm, I've got a spec in my room, a spec noob, of course, and he has got meds and a warlord. So that has actually helped me out a lot. So I'd run around, get a kill or two, multi kill or something, go, go use the warlord, get my ammo back in, go get my full HP back, and then I'd run back into their base, get a couple more kills, like they just got a multi kill, and then I would run back. If you know what I mean? I mean an ultra kill. Fantastic! Oh yeah, but then I die here by a bit of a bullshit because this shotgun, this shotgun is an NX ray, but it's really shit. So yeah, <coughs> sorry, I had a bit of a cough. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I die here, pretty pretty bullshit. So yeah, um, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I can't stop here, and I'm in. Thank you for watching this review on the P90 RC. See ya. Bye.